at the end of this video i'm giving you a promise you'll be able to find the cube root of your numbers in less than five seconds in less than five seconds i am serious about that now welcome back to my channel i want you to pay attention we are going to do this and you are going to love it first of all let's just go straight to the point without wasting much time okay the first thing you need to know is to write all the cubes of your numbers from one to nine just one to nine okay you can easily memorize that now let's write that the cubes of all the numbers now zero cubed is zero let me just leave that one but you can still include include it zero cubed is zero now one cubed is one right one cubed is one two cubed is eight three cubed is 27 four cubed is 64 five cubed is one two five six cubed is see how i interchange it two one but this time it will be six two one six seven cubed is three four three starts three four three you can see how i'm able to memorize it now eight cubed doesn't have any doesn't have any pattern for me i just know that it's five one two and nine cubed is seven two nine so you can easily memorize it it's not difficult once you're able to know this then another thing i want you to note now this is very important here because it will make your calculation faster and please don't be discouraged because of what i'm about to say just pay attention and grab the point i'm about to make concerning this particular point now what am i trying to say look at the end of these numbers all of them they have different numbers that end them this ends with one eight seven four five six three two and nine different numbers and that is why finding cube root is easier and faster than finding square roots i also have a similar video on how to find square root of a number any number okay and i'm going to attach it later bit before the end of the video i'll attach it so that you can watch that too that is when you understand what i said when i said that this is easier than finding square root okay now notice that apart from two and three i will explain later just remove your mind from two and three and remove your mind from seven and eight apart from these four numbers every other numbers ends with their own digits this is what i mean you can see that one cube ends with one four cubes ends with four five cubes ends with five six cube ends with six nine cube ends with nine very easy now let us check these ones that are different they also have something that will help you to remember them now two cube what does two cube end with we already know that two cube is eight but assuming you don't know what do you add to two to get ten? Eight. so that is what it ends with two cube ends with eight three cube ends with seven three plus seven ten are you getting the logic now that is how i memorize it then if you come down because we talked about two Remember that its complement should be 8. 2 and 8 will give us 10. So definitely 8 will now end with 2 because 8 plus 2 is 10. Are you seeing that? So 8 will end with 2. 7 will end with 3. 7 plus 3 is 10. Or you can say that they interchange. But this is how I remember it. So this is what we are going to do now. Like I said, pay attention. By the time we practice it, the first question, the second question, by glancing at a question, a number, you were able to tell the cube root. Now, let's do this. Let's start with the first one. Cube root of 13824. Now, starting with cube root, I'm going to be slow so that you understand what I'm doing. I'm going to be as slow as possible. So, because some of you always say that I... Um, I always rush my videos, so this is not the type I have to rush. Cube root of 13824. Immediately you look at this. What number ends this is 4? So it means that the answer will end with 4. Remember what I told you. 
that are passed from 2378. You can easily remember that 2378, okay, apart from these four numbers, other numbers end with themselves. So this is not 2, this is not 3, this is not 7, this is not 8. So definitely, I don't even need to look at my table to know that the answer will end with 4. Because it's only 4 cubed that will give me a number that will end with 4. Do you understand? So what this in actually implies is that what number cubed we give you a number that ends with 4 and that number is 4 as well. So I will write 4. Then I'm going to cancel the last 3 digits. This is cube root so we go with 3. If this is square, we cancel the last 2 digits. <laughs> so I'm going to cancel the last 3 digits. So we are now left with 13, very small number. So what do we need now? What number are we going to square to get 13? Very easy. That is, you are going to get a number that is close to 13, but not more than 13. And that number is just 2. 2 cubed is 8. It's not more than 13. It cannot be 3. 3 cubed is 27. 27 is more than 13. So the answer is 2. So it simply means that cube root of 1324 is 24. You can press your calculator. Now to bring this home, to make you to understand it more, let's solve another example. So another example is cube root of 42875. We've not got into these ones that are six digit numbers. Okay, so let's do this first before we get to a six digit number so now we have four two eight seven five but before that i believe for you to watch to this point you're actually enjoying this video so please don't forget to hit the subscription button and turn on the notification bell yes so that you don't miss our videos if this is the first time you are seeing us give us a thumbs up like comment and share if you actually love what we are doing okay thank you excuse me thank you very much if you're a returning subscriber thank you i appreciate you now let's go to this so look at five that is what we are seeing here i don't need to check my table to know that a number that will give me what number will I cube to get a number that will end with five? It will still be five. I don't even need to check. That is the only one that ends with five. It's still five. So I'll write that five. Cancel the last three digits. Now we need what number cube do we give us a number that is close to 42 but not more than 42? So that should be three because three cubed is 27. But 4 cubed is 64. You can see that. So 64 is already more than 42. So it means that we need to go for 3, which is 27. So we are going to pick 3. And that is the answer. If you master this in 3 seconds, you'll be able to say, cube root of this is 35. Because your mind will tell you already that this is 5. And if you cancel this in your mind, 42, you are getting 3 in 3 seconds. Okay, now the next one. I would like you to join me and solve this because this you should be able to try this. Now we have cube root of two three eight three two eight two three eight three two eight. Seen eight already. Remember, eight plus two is ten. So definitely, my answer will end with two. Do you remember what I told you about two three? eight and seven you remember right so immediately you see eight you should think about two immediately now it's only two that will give you a number when you cube it that will end with eight look at it all right so if we cancel the last two digits now we have two three eight which number will you cube to get a number that is close to two three eight but not more than two three eight and that should be what six yes because six cubed will give you two one six all right but seven cubed will give you three four three which is larger than two three eight so we are going to go for what six which is two one six so the answer is 62 very easy right okay 
Now, let's look for another one. 884736. 884736. You already know what the answer should end with. It should end with 6. Because this is not 2. This is not 3. This is not 8. This is not 7. So it will end with 6. I don't need to check. So it will end with 6. I've already told you why. Now, what number cubed will give us a number that is close to this but not more than this? And that number is 9. Yes, because 9 cubed will give us 7 to 9. If we go to 10 cubed, 10 cubed is 1,000. So it's not possible, right? So this should be what? 9. That means that our answer is 96. Okay, enough. I think this is enough to clarify this particular video. So I would like you to give me cube root of this and cube root of that. All right. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video.